I had a lot more time. I was there for the entire duration, Thursday to Sunday, and I spent a lot of time walking around and actually exploring the booths. I told myself though that I was not going to be buying any fabric. One, because I have a ton of fabric. Two, I had no way of getting it home because I was traveling for eight days in a carry-on and it was filled to the brim. Like I didn't have any other room. And before you say, oh, you can wear it like a scarf, I was already wearing things like scarves. <laughs> so there was no chance. Um, so I really explored some of the like smaller little knickknacks. I went into shops that um, or booths that I might not normally go into because they didn't have fabric. So I was like, well, let's see what's going on in here and found a lot of cool, really um, fun things. So I want to show you all of those today in my Sew Expo haul. So let's go through it and see what I got. Hopefully you guys will be inspired too. Okay, so this first one is Fit for Art Patterns. And they have a really, really cool concept for their patterns. They have like three patterns basically, and that's it. So you take the three patterns or one of the three patterns, you get it to fit you perfectly, and then you modify that to make a ton of different variations on it. So being as that I was super inspired by pants while I was there, I got the Fit for Art uh, Eureka Pants That Fit Pant. So I'll have some more information for you guys on this, but it's a really cool, fun concept. Um, very smart. I think that, you know, when it comes to fitting and patterns and all of that, people's brains work in all kinds of different ways. And I think I just haven't found the way that works with my brain. So I'm trying to try out a bunch of different ways um, to find the one that I like best. And that one is very um, encouraging. Okay, so from... So I told you I got that um, textbook from Lorraine Henry. I also purchased her half scale practice patterns. And this is what you use to um, learn the concepts that are in the textbook. So this is a way for me to like take myself to school, basically. So I got those. I also got her, and this thing is awesome. Hold on, let me find the... All right, I also got the Measuring Made Easy measuring tapes. You get two of them in there. One of them has the zero in the middle. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, oh my God. So basically you use this middle measurement. Like if you want to find your shoulder to shoulder, you put the zero in the middle and now you've got your left measurement and your right measurement all in one. For your crotch curve, you put the zero at your crotch and you wrap it around and then you get your front and your back all in one. Um, so this is really ingenious. Um, what else? I got the Paradiso Designs Boho Frock. I actually got a bunch of stuff from her. I got the Boho Frock. I got the, um, oh shoot, what is this bag called? Oh no, no, this is the Leather Sewing Techniques Kit. So this is a kit that teaches you how to sew with leather because I also got the, not that, here's a texture discovery kit, similar to the leather one, but this one you work with cottons and interfacings and stuff like that. I got the rose bag pattern from them and I got the daisy kit. And the daisy I'm actually gonna be making in April out of this really pretty, um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's like a really pretty black leather. It's gonna be a cute little classic bag. Um, so I'll be using this along with the leather techniques kit. And she's also, um, I think right now, working on a sew along for the daisy too. So I'll have all of those resources to help me make a really, really great um, leather bag. She had some of them on display and they look like what you would find in the stores. So I'm excited about that. Next up, I got, oh, I won. I won something. So I went to the um, American Sewing Guild chapter meeting. They have one there every year. It's like this dinner and they have speakers this year. They had Anne and Bruce Whaley from Australia there. So that was fun. And like you put your little ticket into the raffle and they draw numbers. I never, ever win those things. Um, but this time I did. I won this from Olive Us Girls Aqua Checks Mix Table Runner Kit. So you make this gingham looking table runner 
and you get all the fabric and batting for it. So I thought that that was fun and free and I won. So that's cool. All right. So from, was it dry goods design? I think I got the wire frame cosmetics case hardware, and this is to make, you know, a bag that opens up like a clam. So I thought that was really cute. Um, I also got from dry goods, a, uh, coin purse hardware to make these really cute coin purses from scraps. Isn't that fun? I love that. I also bought the Angela Wolf ruched t-shirt. I took her knit at leisure class. And after that class, I came and bought this pattern so that I could practice some of the stuff that she taught us while we were in the class. But this one's really cool. Look at all of these different options, all from one pattern. And then I think you can also leave the ruching out and she tells you how how much to adjust the length if you take the ruching out. So I thought that was really cute. I also bought, you know those sewing machine magnets that you put on your throat plate in order to help with the seam um, allowances? I got one in the shape of a sewing machine. I thought that was so cute. I need one, not for the five eighths inches, but once you go past that, like one and a quarter, sometimes it's hard for me. So I just spent a little bit of money on this to get one of those. I also got two more enamel pins. If you've seen my denim jacket with all the enamel pins on it, all the sewing themed enamel pins, um, I'm trying to add to that collection. So I got one with scissors and one that says maker. And both of these came from some place with sisters in the name. I'll try to find, well, I'll find it and put it in the description box with a link to their enamel pins. Two sisters something maybe. And then a needle pocket guide. I think they were just giving this away. And a measuring tape. <laughs> and that's it. That is it. Those are, that's my haul from um, So Expo this year. And there you have it. I, like I said before, um, I didn't buy any fabric, which is fine, you guys. It's fine. Even in isolation and quarantine, it's still fine. I promise. Wait till you see what I have planned for April. It's fine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I found a lot of really cool, interesting little, little things. Um, hopefully maybe some things that you hadn't heard of before either. Like all of these things were new to me. So I was excited to come across some new discoveries while I was there, which I think is like the whole point. So that was really great, but I'm going to have links in the description box to as many of these things as I can find that are available online. So be sure to check out the description box for more information, but other than that, that is going to do it for me today and I will see you all very soon. Bye!